Well, hello, my friends. It is a very exciting day. We all collectively cannot believe that this day is finally here. Today, we are bringing my kitchen cabinets into my house. So the floor is so gorgeous and it just needs some beautiful, gorgeous cabinets to sit on top of it, I believe, because today the kitchen is actually turning into a kitchen. So please excuse my mess of a garage. Literally, we had cleaned out the garage and organized it so nicely and then I got these cabinets like two years ago. And since then they have been sitting in here and making everything else just kind of turn into a mess because when there's one mess, everything turns into a mess, at least in my experience. So that's why I like to try to keep my house perfectly tidy because when there's just like one thing out of place, it's just like, it seems like instantly everything just goes bleh and uh, is terrible. That's what happened here anyway, but we're happy that uh, we're getting these out today. At least some of them. I have way more cabinets than I'm actually going to be using. the upper cabinets because I'm not actually using upper cabinets. Um, just because of the way that the kitchen is laid out, it didn't work out. So um, we are going to be using, and we already have, like see how this one is missing a thing? That is because it is in the pantry in the little pullout. So we're going to be using different um, covers for some of the cabinets that we're going to have to make. So I mentioned it in the last video, but of these cabinets, base cabinets, we're really only putting in four, four cabinets. And then there are two cabinets that still need to be made, but we're going to put some of the covers, the front doors on it. But the actual cabinets that we're moving over today to put right in, are, there's only four. So there's going to be those four and then the two that we make, and then that's all. Um, but obviously there's going to be open spaces for the stove, fridge, and dishwasher. So today, certainly the kitchen will not look fully completed, like all tons of cabinets, because, well, it's a small kitchen in general, but um, two of the cabinets we're not gonna have, and, but it's gonna be major progress. I'm so excited to see it. So anyway, Jay is meeting me here this morning. We're going to put the cabinets in his truck and take them over to the new house. Okay, so there's really only four that are going over. Okay. Um, this one is for sure. Okay. And then I think there's one base cabinet that's not, but I don't know which one it is. Do you have a tape measure? Yeah, uh, yeah it's in the truck. Okay. Because okay. um, one, I know we're getting a 130 inch and 136 inch, but then there's an extra one, so I'm not sure which one that is. Okay. You want to move this one over there? Then? Yeah. Then we're going to need some of the fronts, but. I'm not sure which ones they are. This one for sure. Huh? Yes. This thing's not very heavy. I mean, light and heavy. No, no, they're not. They're pretty heavy ones. Let's slide out. Oh, let me see if I can get how how much in here. Let's see. Uh. I want to just, uh, uh, well, I'm going to say, no, flip Should out that way. Yeah, that way. Yeah, that way. Maybe that way. You, uh, you ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm guessing this is the 30 inch one. It looks smaller. Yeah, so this one's going to come, and then I'm guessing these. Two are both 36. Oops. This one's even bigger. No, it's 36. Uh -huh. Yeah, so this one, and then this one or that one, and then the following one. Okay. So I don't know which one would be. Okay, so you want to take this and set it down here? Yeah, we can do that.
keep this one as well. I don't want to swear the way you let it go, it don't matter. If we tip it back this way. Like that? It will. That way the doors will stay shut. Yeah. The doors will stay. There's only two more. Okay. And we're not going to get four on there, so we might as well take these two. Take these out and we'll come back with the other two. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. This is going to go in the back corner. We may have to put a space a thing and pull it away from the wall. Yeah, we planned for that. Okay. Ta da! So it's going to be there, and then the stove is going to be next to it. Okay. I hope that the uh, Ooh. thing is not too far over. It is. Is that supposed to be in the middle? Yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> we'll fix it. <coughs> we'll right. Well, hopefully, this will be long enough. Because, so the next 30 inches is supposed to, For the, is this 30 inches? Yeah, stove, yeah. Oh, this isn't the right one. This is a 36 inch one. It should be the 30 inch one here. Oh, okay, that'll make a difference then. Okay, yeah, this isn't the right one. This needs to go over here. Oh, okay. Not sure where exactly, but. Yeah, it's gonna we'll, be. We'll leave it in here for now. Actually, that's not even the right one either. That one's gonna be the next one over. Because <laughs> okay. the uh, three drawer one is gonna be here. Something like that. Okay. Now, now I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that may work out then. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so it's so the 30 inches, and then the stove is what? 30, 30, 30 inches. inches. Okay, so then then starts the first 36 with the three drawers and then that one. Okay. Yeah, but the little one we have is right there. So this is right at the end of the peninsula. The peninsula is finished. Okay. That's all we've got for today, folks, on this. Because there'll be this, and then there'll be the dishwasher, and then we have to make these two. Okay. But it looks nice. And this is a nice space. The two. It's way bigger than a normal galley kitchen, which is fine. It's still not too big, I don't think, because it's still. You no, know. Not, I think it's good. It's a good size. Yeah. Okay, so we just need these two, and we'll be golden. <laughs> You didn't fit. That, that's it, right? Yeah. We're going to have to go up and down into the house. Oh, yeah. How are we going to do this here? Sideways. Put 
this way. I guess I have to go. Yeah. Oops. I'm not sure exactly. Something like that. Okay, this one actually is going in this corner. In this corner. So, I don't know how much more space you want to leave. Yeah, we'll see. I probably probably would bring it out. Yeah, boy, I don't know. It's gonna be close on this, <clears throat> but we still we can move that hole in if we have to. Should be a big deal. So it's whatever space there, and then that, and inch. then 30 inches. Your tape measure is in my car. Is it from that close? Yeah, towards the wall, it's a smidge. Support the wall smidge. It, it won't be matter too much because I'll just cut a piece to put in there. Okay. Yeah, that's about whatever, two inches. That way. Yeah. 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 Okay, and then 30 inches. I don't close. I go about like that. Okay. Because we'll yeah, yeah, say we'll save about a quarter of an inch to get it Right. Get it in. And then. That seems wonky. Why does that? It must be something with a cabinet. Yeah, we'll have to. We we'll have to do some shimming and stuff to, to, yeah. to get everything level. So there it is, basically. And then we just need this. So this is at least <clears throat> closer. Yes. And I have the actual vent hood. I've had it for like a million years. <laughs> oh, okay. Because I thought that we needed to put it in when we were wiring and we didn't. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then we're going to have, but the thing is going to go over a little bit anyway. The What's that? thing that we make, the vent hood. Oh, it's oh. going to go over these two a little bit, I think. Oh, okay. Where's it going to start back up here somewhere? Yeah. So how it goes and then it's going to have something. Come and then up. it's going to go up to the top. It's going to be a, um, like plaster thing. So then the stove and then the dishwasher will be here for 24 inches. From here to here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right here. Right here. Okay. Here. I think they're 24 inches. Yeah. And then, um, that's right. Good. So then the dishwasher will be until here. Okay. And then 24. And then I'm just going to, this one's going to be 27, but have the two inches. That's 29. Um, what is this? 24 to 80. Four and a half. 84 and a half. Um, so that'd be 60 and a half. 84.5 minus 24 is 60.5 minus 2 for the X dead space minus 27 leaves 31.5 for the sink. And you know what the sink is? I'm well, sure the sink that. itself is going to be 30 inches. 30. And it says minimum 33 inch cabinet. But also, when I look at the pictures of the cabinet and the sink sitting on top of them, I don't see any extra room. Like, the sink goes all the way to the end of it. So I'm like, how is that? Although, I think the sinks are a little bit less than what The sink say. itself, yeah, it uses a lip balm, so the wider, you know, so as long as the inside of it can fit in. It should be should fine. Be, it should be fine. But if it's a, like an apron sink. Yeah. Like when I look at the pictures, I just see the sink and it's sitting on the exact same size cabinet, it looks like. Sitting right, the cabinet's like even with yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Although they say a minimum of 33 inch cabinet. Now, okay, what's going here? 
This is going to be the one that we have to make that's going to have the 27 inch um, doors on it. Oh, okay. Which is just going to be a cabinet that just has shelves, like a lot of little shelves to put like um, pans and cookie sheets and stuff like that. Okay. And I mean, we can make that one a little bit smaller if we need to. We would just have to cut the doors down. I guess. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering if I if I have to if I could make it an inch, maybe an inch. Yeah, because it doesn't have to be 27 inches. That's just what we chose, and that would make it kind of line up. Yeah. Because the 33 inch cabinet and the 27 inch would equal the 30 inch and the 30 inch. Okay. So they'd be kind of lined up. So what I'd say, when you get the sink, which you, when you get that. I'll make, I'll make the cabinets after I get the sink, so I'll right. know, know just how much. Yeah, and maybe we can. Is. Hi, baby. You're not supposed to be in here. You're so cute. Um, maybe we can, if we do the sink cabinet first, at least like the base of it, then we can know for sure that it's all going to fit. Right. With the 24 inch space. Right. Yep. Yep. That sounds good to me. It looks awesome. And then I got to figure out too. I got three holes to drill through the floor mm -hmm. for your water and drain. Right. I'm debating whether to put it in the wall, mm -hmm. which would be probably the ideal place, and that way we wouldn't have. You to, wouldn't have that. Yeah, well, you so still much have stuff. some because you still got to come down from your drain. Is the single single but base uh, mm -hmm. single thing thing. So they have to come down and come in and go out here. Right. But still, you, and then all your your uh, plumbing for your dishwasher. Dishwasher is going to come through and come and hook in up back here too. Right. So. Yeah, that would be good because it would give more space. For your front, yeah. Under the sink, and you could still get to it because it would still be open. Right, or it could be open. Yeah, uh, what are you putting drawers in, right? Is that what you're saying? I wanted to put one big drawer. What, just one big one. That's what I was thinking. One deep drawer. Big off, big off, deep. Yeah. Like that? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Yeah. Give me something to think about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I need to order, figure out what I'm going to do for the sink and order it. Yeah. A lot of people said that I should do stainless. Yeah. Which I might do. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I see a lot of a lot of stainless. Yeah. It's, it's like I say, it won't stain, it won't chip. Right. So. And it would match all of my other appliances. Are your appliances all going to be stainless? Mm hmm Oh, yeah. And I, yeah, I, Hi, I think probably I would do that. That's what I would do, too. Yeah, those two look funky. Yeah, they're not lined up right. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll line them up and we'll probably... Just... I don't know if they have any screws in there or not. I don't see any. But I will probably end up... I, just, I usually like put drill a hole through here and here somewhere. Oh, so they're line them up hooked together? Them together. Okay. So they'll be tight together. Right. So they're screwed together and screwed to the back. Yeah. Are they screwed down into the floor at all? I don't screw them into oh, the floor. Okay. And, and then we just put like a... to screw them in the floor. So. Right. Fine with me. Well, we start here and we'll work our way that way. Okay. Oh, there's light. Let there be light. I forgot about that. <laughs> What's going on? There's about... We got we figured it two inches there, right? Yeah. At least on the... It's about the same. I'm curious to see if it's the same at the bottom and the top. <laughs> oh, that's hard to see. It's two, no, because it's two and one notch. Whereas two. this is one, one less one, than yeah, one two. Eight, eight less. Okay, so yeah, if we raise the back, that side up just to have hair, it might, you know. So what I'll do is I'll put, I'll let, you, I'll let you go. I'll lift on this, push this thing up, and let you put these under it, under, under the leg, like one leg on this end, and maybe one in the back like this. Okay. Okay. Pull this back. Okay. Okay. Come it down. 
me get the fingers. How does it look now as far as width both of them? It's about it's hard to see. It's about two that's the same as it was before. But it's the same on the top now. Same now? Yeah, two and one. Okay, and then it's and it's level. Okay, yeah. Okay. Looks great. Let's see how it is this way. That's good too. Try to figure out where the okay. where the uh, studs are here. That side is. I'm guessing. I have a stud finder. Oh yeah. You could try it. Yeah. Okay, we'll put a we'll put a screw in right about there. So is that all there is to it? Or is yeah, there the, one? The, the, this one is going to be right out, about out to here somewhere, I think, for sure. It'll be hard to get one. I might be able to get one in the corner here. Well, that was easy. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Usually, you know, boy, I fight with them because the um, floors and the walls are so off. Right. You just have to. If we redid all the floors and the walls in one room, I'm glad that it's this one. Yes. Like to make everything. Right. This that this is a this is the reason I said we need to do something. Yeah. Because I just it you been. ain't gonna get these cabinets in here very well. Yeah, yeah it would have been a nightmare. Like yeah. This was this was great. This one, this side would be way down. Four oh, yeah. inches lower than this Seriously. Side. <laughs> and it looks so nice. But also, like I know it's unfortunate that it makes the room shorter. But um yeah. other than that, like you can just see when I walked in this room before, it was you could just it just see it so much, the dips and stuff. Before. Yeah. But now it's it's like really, really nice and it looks square. A slightly smaller square, but square. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I can't touch the ceiling. Yeah. Benefits of being a short person. Okay. Well, we've got this one to put in. Boy, we'll get done too quickly right here. I know, right? Great. So are we just going to screw this into here? Yes. We'll screw it into that. Let's see. I think I'm going to pull it over this way just a little bit more anyway. 
So when we do the I'm not sure what you want to do here. We're going to need to do something. Like to make that a little bit higher? Well, yeah, it's, we're going to, we'll put a piece on top to make it higher. Right. But uh, we're going to have to cover this side too. Well, yeah, whatever I do is going to have to go all the way around. Oh, yeah, I got a hole here. Because I'm not going to show this. That's yeah, I got a hole here. Yeah, so whatever I end up choosing is going to have to go, because it's going to go on that side too, I'm guessing. Okay. And go like all the way around. Okay. Some sort of wood, probably. Okay. So let me think about this. I mean, time. this one's not terribly ugly. Right, that corner's a little bit, got a little bit messed up, but I mean, we could also, yeah. But I feel like it'd look better if they were the same, too. Okay. I just don't know exactly what. Maybe something thin. I haven't gotten that far. I've thought about it some, but even just the thin pieces of something or another, I don't think look horrible. But we could also do just like a thin, real wood board. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to be too bulky, but I'll have to look and see what they have and talk to dad to see if he has any great ideas. Because I could also do something like this. I wonder if you could make this but be thinner. I don't know. He might be able to cut it on his, on his saw like that. I don't know. I mean, I know he can cut it thinner on yeah. his sawmill, but I don't know like with planing it and stuff, if there's yeah. a certain thinness that it can't be too thin. Yeah, and it, might, it might get to... Because I think he's getting new knives for his planer and he thinks that might fix the problem. If you want to go with like regular boards, three quarter inch, I mean, I could pull this into three quarter inch, you know? Or... That's true. Well, it's going to have to go over that too. So it's going to have to go over this. You wouldn't want to pull it in because it's going to have to go all the way over and then around. Yes, unless you made a little, well, you probably wouldn't want to do that. Yeah, probably better for just kind of make it flush in. That's pretty close. Yeah, even if we could make them a little, like if Dad cut them three quarter inch to start with, and then we made them, and then we planed them to half inch, that might be a little bit. Better. Yeah, or ha yeah, even half inch. Be yeah, good. it'd be good. Uh, Wouldn't be quite so in your face. Are you playing? You think you'd run them vertical? I think. Yeah, I think I would. Okay, so if we do the, if we do vertical, I may have to put some pieces across here this way. Right. And and at the bottom, to, right. to nail too. So that, that yeah, I think that fine. if I did if I did regular boards, I think I would want them vertical. Okay. Yeah, I think vertical would look nice. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's like this. It's that way just to here too. Okay. Go ahead and screw it there, I guess. Yay! We did it! Look at that. Looks like a kitchen! Okay guys, can you believe it? The cabinets are in, those which we have ready already. Looks so nice. I just can't even quite get over it. I've seen it so many times in my head and like on the computer screen and stuff and I know it's not all done, but to see it in real life, it just looks exactly exactly like like in a way I'm like yeah I've seen this a million times because like on my computer design thing um, you know and I just feel like I'm standing at it like it's really quite crazy 
obviously there's still things to do. Stove, sink, other thing. Uh, what's that called? Dishwasher, fridge, but it's coming together. And I'm loving, I really do like maple, guys. I've learned that. It's so pretty and it looks just so nice. I can't wait to get the uh, floor all polyed. And like, this is just exactly what the doors look like. I'm so glad that I paid the extra to get the doors in maple instead of an oak because that was the original quote. But since everything else was maple, I was like, well, I'm gonna go with that. And I really, really, really am happy that I did that. I'm not a huge fan of the major graininess of the oak. I like the maple more, it's uh, more, I don't know, mellow. But overall, and I like that it's just matching, like with the floor, I'm not that you want too matchy matchy, but the floor and the cabinets and the doors are all just like a similar color. And then you got the pop of the doors and mm, it's great. By doors, I mean the front door, which um, I enjoy quite a bit. So my first walkthrough of my beautiful kitchen. It looks so good. By the way, this is the door that's gonna be the door for the um, cabinet that's gonna go here. See how this goes. Well, you can kind of imagine that and then the sink cabinet dishwasher love it love it love it love it love it love it i am hoping to get i'm thinking maybe brass i have also seen some like mother of pearl kind of looking um door not yeah well cabinet door pulls knobs i've been searching on etsy so i'm hoping to find something that i love um can't wait to show you when i find that but until then, I am planning on putting the black ones. I got these ones from Golden Warm, and I'm planning on putting these um, upstairs in my built-ins, like I said, because they look really nice there. And I think that black is not the right choice for these cabinets. So anyway, I am super pumped. This just feels like home in here. Um, another thing I was worried about was kind of the difference in cabinet. Um, I'll show you. So like this is the walkway and obviously this cabinet ends here, whereas this one extends further. Love it. I love it. I think it's great. I think this is all gonna pull together so beautifully. I'm planning on having a couple, two shortish shelves here and then two shortish shelves here. Vent hood here, stove here. Um, I think that will also bring together the symmetry of having those two shelves on both sides. And even though they're like gonna be small shelves, they actually, you can put quite a lot on a shelf like that. Not that I want them to be too, um, too much going on, but I think it'll be great. And the fact that this window, I'm hoping to have like the matching sill, stone sill matching this cabinet uh, countertop, uh, which I think will look very nice for one. For two, it won't have, it doesn't have the extra on the side. So then you can have the wood shelves right here without um, worrying about like all that space and also having the vent hood come to here. I'll remind you a picture of what the vent hood's gonna look something like. But that is the goal for this. I wanted to take a moment to thank um, Deborah, a viewer like you, who has gone above and beyond regular viewership and has helped me so much. This was quite a while ago. I know in the past I've showed you like the designs that she made. She basically helped me with every step designing this kitchen, which was so, so kind. She helped me and we, together, we like made a lot of changes from my initial thought. So just about all of the little, little details, very detail oriented um, and helping with every step of this cabinet going here versus this cabinet. She gave me tons of different like views and designs and she has been an amazing help along the way. So I wanted to once again, thank Deborah for that. Um, there are a lot of changes that I would not have, a lot of things in this kitchen that I wouldn't have had without her expertise. So huge thank you to Deborah. And it is so cool to see the real thing versus just the design that she made on, you know, the internet, which basically looks the same. Like I feel like I'm literally standing in the design. It's so cool. Although there are pieces missing, of course, but it's just really, really awesome. So I hope you L-O-V-E love this kitchen as much as I do. I'm so excited to see every little step come because um, there are still a few pieces missing and we get to excitedly see every step along the way. Wonderful, absolutely fantastic. Also, I just feel like there's so much light in this kitchen, which I love. Lights everywhere, awesome. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video.
talk about an exciting one, am I right? Tune in next time, you never know what's happening here at the house because even I don't know what's happening here at the house. But I'm sure it'll be something fun and exciting. I can't wait to share it with you. I can't wait to experience it myself. I will see you guys next time on a drill and a dream.